my YouTube family. Um, this is Melissa from Melissa Loves Orchids. Um, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I basically have become newly obsessed with orchids and I'm taking you on my journey as I learn and try to help them thrive and I grow my collection and all that good stuff. Today's video is actually going to be a Let's see what's inside this poor plant that looks like it's suffering. Um, I got this one. It bloomed. The bloom is, um, the bloom spike is, is dying. It's drying up. So I'm going to be cutting it soon. But I want to show you what happens when you get buy a plant. I think I bought this one at Costco on the way out. Like one normally does. You see a beautiful plant. You want to take it home. And I had it beautiful pink flowers. Um, and then, then I see that she's wobbly in here. She never used to be wobbly. So I've been watering her regularly and I waited like a lot of people told me that I should wait until it finishes blooming. And so I did. So now let's see what's in here. Just because she's so wobbly, all of a sudden I have a feeling Wow, so this is a lot of wet bark. Bark that has basically disintegrated. It's no longer any good. Look at that, it just looks like the bottom of the forest floor, maybe the rainforest floor. And it's not even, see, look at the, this bark breaks like paper. So then when I look, all I see is some green roots, which is good, but she is packed in moss. So sometimes I guess they do this to, I don't know. I mean, the bark is really good for them most of the time, but then if it has a bunch of wet moss in the center, that's why it seemed like some of the roots were starting to look bad. So once I take it apart, Mm -hmm. that's what happens they get stinky so i'm happy to see that there's i caught this semi on time there's only a few roots that look like i need to cut them this bark is so fine that i feel like i'm getting splinters maybe i should be wearing gloves like um miss orchid girl she says that her hands are sensitive or whatever so she always wears gloves my hands are not really sensitive, but yeah, in this case, like, it doesn't feel great. So when you pull away some of these roots, you can see that they're not even viable anymore. You want to cut these off. So I already, with alcohol, disinfected my shears, and I'm going to give her a haircut. And like I said, there wasn't too many that I need to cut, but I need to find a better spot for her. This plastic, I hate putting them, even though they have sufficient holes at the bottom, it's turned into a gross gooey mess that I don't even want to touch or have in front of me too long. It's really gross. So I'm going to give her a haircut. I'm going to wash her off and then we're going to look at her together. I'm also going to cut this old stem. I don't know why I left it on. Maybe there goes wishful thinking, but look, I see a light at the end of the tunnel. I see new roots that are trying to grow. See that? That's a good sign. And plenty of old roots that are a little bit mushy, but not mushy, but softer. This one's got to go. Softer than they should be. But I think that's it. She doesn't need to be cut anymore. She has a new leaf growing, which is always good. So I'm going to give her a quick, uh, quick rinse. And then I'm going to see what I'm going to do with her because I had a couple of options. I'll be right back. So I gave her a rinse and she actually looks pretty good. The roots that are left look really good and she has plenty of them, a new leaf growing. One soggy root that was at the bottom that wasn't looking, I mean root, leaf 
at the bottom that wasn't looking good. I just pulled it a little, she came right off. So here are the options. So I went around my yard. I know I'm getting super crafty today. And I found this little trunk, this little trunk that she can sit in here and possibly I can hang her. And that looks super pretty. So that's one option. I got a longer one. I could put a couple on here. Um, I have this. I wash it off, drill some holes. That would look nice. I don't know, but the whole drilling right now, I don't know. I have what I normally do, clay pot. I have two sizes, but she fit in here. This is, I think a four inch. That doesn't look bad. That looks really nice, but, and then of course I have these that I bought a whole bunch of on Amazon. I could do that with some bark hanger in the pergola. What should I do? I'm leaning towards this. I'm leaning towards this with a little bit of um, gardening twine. I'm thinking she might like this. Maybe if I do it like it's like if she were sitting on a hammock like that. How organic does that look? That looks super, super organic. And it looks like she might be on one of these if she were out in the wild. So I'm gonna get some, yeah, this is it. Choice number four. <laughs> Choice number four. Look, she's already balancing on it. So I think that's gonna be it. And then what I'll do is I will, I think I'm gonna have to drill first and then have like a rope to hang her. How cute will that look? I think this is gonna be it. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. <clears throat> Here it is. So just a little piece of wood from one of my trees back in the yard. And um, this is where sh I'm gonna put the, the orchid. I'm gonna put some moss regular old moss not the best kind but one that i'm having i'm using because i already bought it and it's already here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to wet it i'm going to get it um softer so i can put like a little bed of moss right here and then i'm going to use the twine to attach my orchid so i kind of made like an orchid swing and look, i just got bitten oh my god the bugs and the heat. I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain, but it's, wow. And it's funny because this morning I looked at, I was Googling when the weather is gonna get cooler. And Google told me that it was October. I don't know if I'll make it till October like this with 100 degrees and you get in the car and it's 109. So let's see. So what do you think? I would have rather find a more like a kind of more organic rope. But for now, this will do. Everything else in the patio is white. So if anything, the, the rope will blend in to the walls. But yeah, I'm gonna put her on, coming up next. I love it. Okay, so she's almost done, almost done. I have, like you already saw the string attached. The only thing left, I think, is to, I didn't wanna do the wire too tight as to not damage the roots, so, the only thing left would be to take some more of this wet moss and kind of stick it in the gappy spots like this. So that she is secure. Then find the place to hang her somewhere in the pergola. It's gonna have to be. So what do you think? What do you think? I'm gonna show you all the way around. So just a bunch of gardening twine, 
a little stick from my yard. And there you have it, a cute mounting with moss so she can stay moist. It's like an orchid hammock. That's what I'm gonna call it, orchid hammock. I love it. I was gonna go to buy some cork at my local um, orchid supply store. The last cork that I bought was $13. This, I walked out to my backyard, grabbed a stick from the ground, and got crafty. This was in my garage. This I had purchased for like six bucks, but I've done a couple of projects, so I'm super, super happy with it. I hope she acclimates. She's pretty secure. She's not coming off of here. But I like that immediately when I put her, she kind of leaned forward a little bit. And I know I'm to it's total personification. I'm acting like if she's a person or, or even, I mean, she's a living thing, but, but look at how it happens organically. She just kind of tip to the end and so I'm not going to be afraid that I'm going to be having her too upright and getting water stuck in that in the crown in the center there because naturally it, she kind of leaned forward and I just went around with my twine tell me what you think I hope you like it tell me in the comments next up I don't know if I'm going to include it in the same video but if it's not included in this video it's going to be in the following my super cute nephew his name is James gave me one of his he has plants he has a garden he loves reptiles and he gave me this to try to revive to save because he might be really handy with reptiles and good in his garden I'm gonna teach him about orchids so let's see what I can do with this I hope I think there's hope because there's a new leaf but this is my next project Gonna go in the same container but i'm gonna cut it uh i'm gonna cut it cut it i'm gonna cut it down i'm gonna cut this spike that is completely dry and i'm gonna check out the roots so happy to see that there's a few new roots growing that's always a good sign there's a lot of dead roots so let's see what we end up with i'm gonna give her a soak take out that old moss and see if i can make this pretty again Thanks for joining me guys. I hope you like and subscribe. I'm having fun doing these crafts and taking care of my orchids and my new pergola. So let me know what you think. Bye. Thank you.